Welcome back Transformers fans. Coming at you with another video review. Uh, this is Transformers Prime from the animated series Prime. Uh, Bumblebee figure. Uh, this is a first edition figure. As you can see, uh, comes with the uh, cardboard stand that comes in the packaging. Great, great packaging too. Uh, you can see I got them out of the box here, but uh, here's you can see some of the packaging um, from the Prime First Edition series says over here. Uh, but I can't say enough good things about these figures. And let me see, get that up there. Um, pa great packaging, amazing figures, and. Uh, this bumblebee is an awesome figure. So here you can see him in his alt mode, the muscle car mode. Such a, I mean, it's a great design. You can see it rolls great too. Great paint apps, and just a great overall mold. Um, this guy is really awesome. You can see it. Uh, his the lights here has great detail um, very very show accurate um, if you're a fan of the animated show on hub TV I think they're just about to launch season two and man these things are hard to find too I got this guy at Toys R Us um, and uh, I've been trying desperately to find them since then but man look at the paint apps on this guy and uh, you can see below storage for his blaster uh, he only comes with one blaster in the show I, I think you see him with two a lot but uh, you know just a great alt mode muscle car bumblebee so let's transform this guy and I want to do uh, some comparison um, of the first edition versus the Robots in Disguise which is basically a re-release or second edition version of this uh, figure. It's even a new mold and um, I was disappointed to find that out because I got this guy and I have the RC and the Starscream as well, the first edition ones and I really hope they don't change the molds on these because these figures are just awesome and uh, it would be a shame so I'll show you some comparisons though between this and the um, robots in disguise one. You can see a little little gapping right there, but uh, this this guy's awesome. Rolls good. You can display him on uh, on uh, on his box stand too, which doesn't work as well in the car mode because. They're, they have an Autobot and a or a Decepticon and an Autobot this symbol on there. Really cool, you know, a little gimmick uh, f as far as packaging goes. You know, I, I I don't think I won't display them with this. I keep it used in the box, but uh, awesome figure. You can see his his Autobot symbol here. So let's transform this guy. I think uh, a lot of the Bumblebees they start with the doors, but this guy's a little bit different. You don't have to start with the doors. You start from the back. First, you want to take his blaster off right here. That pops. That, that stores underneath the car, which is a really cool figure. Take his blaster off. Split the back legs. And um, you'll want to bring those down. Like so. And they clip in here. You can see, actually, they, they clip under the side here really sturdy and and uh, yeah holds everything into place really well so then once you have him his legs split apart um, you can pull his legs out and this transformation is really cool flip his feet out and uh, then he also has these heel these heel sections on the on the bottom too so you can get his feet out First, I like to do that first, and then uh, you come around to the doors, and you want to his arm pieces, the wheel wells here, um, the arm pieces that go on his shoulders. 
they they tab into the doors. So you want to untab the pieces from the doors here, like that, and split these the doors apart, and then flip the hood the roof of the car down into the doors. And then you can see, you see his hands back here, and uh, from up more. Then you want to take his his uh, what becomes part of his abdomen piece, his abs here, fold that out, and uh, let's see what you want to do then. Then you want to take his arms out. So pull these his arms out like so, and these will fold out. And then come up here to the front. I kind of like to do it all at once, like he's transforming. And his um, front piece splits up. This is just a, a, such an amazing mold and an awesome transformation. So you can see these flip up too in a minute here. But I'm going to do. I am going to do it a little differently. So you've. So then you, you flip, turn this part around, and then this part around to form the chest. And then that exposes his head, you see. And then you can bring his arms back up and fold his, his torso part over. So his arms come down. What I'm confused about here is his arms not, not, there we go. His arms weren't coming out of there. There we go. So his arms got to come out completely like that. His head, chest piece folds down and it tabs this part folds folds down and tabs right into here if you can see that there's a little tab there slot for that boom that goes in and then his shoulder or his chest piece they uh, tab into place also right over there and over there Boom, then you bring his arms down, flip the back windshield here down, bring his arms down, and this is his arms, this is such a cool feature because you can see his, uh, the wheels sit up on his shoulders and they actually form his shoulders. So this is a double hinge joint right here, and then this thing, I like to pop his his shoulders up like that yeah see this this shoulder piece should be all the way up and then uh, this tabs into the wheel right here so there you have his arm like that same thing on this side flip these oh flip it in flip it on top tab it into his arm socket there and you can see you have full full range of motion with this piece coming up as well so there you have Transformers Prime first edition Bumblebee Here, let's fix his leg in his robot mode and this guy is incredible you can see the amazing light piping here and he's got great Posability, and he just looks awesome. Completely show accurate. I mean, he looks exactly how he would, how he looks in the animated show. So we'll get a shot of him. Then take his blaster here, which tabs into the back, and you can tab it right onto his arm. See, it's you can hear it snap in too. And boom! Now he's got his blaster. So in the show he had two blasters. I wanted to get another figure just so he would have, so I would have two blasters. So I ordered another one, but then um, they told me that they were going to switch the packaging to the robots in disguise packaging. No, no longer would it be the first edition because I pre-ordered the item. So very bummed about that um, because I definitely want to get. I mean, this guy is is awesome, and uh, the robots in disguise one. I actually found at retail today so I could compare um, you know what what I would be getting what you would be getting if you get the robots in disguise versus the Transformers 
Prime First Edition. So, uh, get him aside here for a second, and I want to show you. I'm going to have to move this up. This is the Robots in Disguise Transformers Prime, uh, basically a re release or a second edition. Um, and you can see he comes with two blasters. And um, he looks like he is almost a different mold. Well, the mold looks pr pretty similar, but the paint isn't as good. You can see, you know, some of the details on the front. And I'll get him out of packaging, too, and so we can compare the differences. But uh, this is the new Robots in Disguise packaging versus the first edition Prime packaging. Bumblebee. Great artwork on the packaging. I absolutely love the packaging, but nothing beats the Prime first edition packaging. Got the foil here. Unfortunately, mine ripped when I pulled it out of the out of the box. Thinking, you know, I could get another one that I'm going to keep in the box and man, it's I got to tell you it's hard to find these things. But uh I'm still looking and hopefully I can get one. I do have the RC and I'm not going to open her because I know that they're switching the packaging now, which I'm bummed out about. But here's the new the new one, Robots in Disguise. You got a stats on one side. I mean, it's great art. It's still great packaging. The Autobot symbol there. And there you can see Bumblebee Deluxe Class Series C. Here we go. Series 1.001. And what does what did the old one say? Includes display stand. And this was series 001. So you can see they're marked. And you can compare the difference. One series 1-001. One and this was the first edition. So we'll compare those and see see what they look like. But uh, back to back to uh, our first edition. Oops, sorry. Back to our first edition Bumblebee figure and uh, his awesome display stand. If I can get him to stand on it. See him frame there? Boom. Bumblebee Prime. <laughs> Just got blasted. Oh no! <laughs> Starscream. All right. Awesome, awesome figure. Love this guy. If you can find him, if you're lucky enough to find him at retail, pick him up. He's incredible. And uh, I'm a fan of the show, and I'm a big fan of these figures. They've done an amazing job with them. And uh, this is my wrap for my video review for Transformers Prime Bumblebee first edition uh, comparison with the Robots in Disguise uh, series 1-001 um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, leave your comments and look forward to seeing you next time